Today is a big day for Team Kansas as we join as partners to fly drones under the President's UAS Integration Pilot Program, IPP. Our priorities for this pilot program are to lead the country in fielding new capability that uses drones to either make money, save money, or save lives. And at the end of the day, we're gonna do all of that here in Kansas. Over the next two years, this program will shape the future of UAS flight in America by setting the pace for safe drone operations and rule making for the entire country. You know, Kansas is unique in that situation, as, as Lieutenant Governor mentioned, is that we're one of only five states that were selected to do pilots uh, out of the U.S. Department of Transportation. This program signifies that this administration's commitment to advancing the unmanned aircraft industry, safely expanding drones into our nation's airspace, and maintaining leadership to avoid moving innovation overseas. Really, we think it's important to be out here to connect with our community members to see um, what kind of impact it's having on our community, what kind of positive impacts it's having, and if they also have any concerns as well. So we're here really as kind of an open mic night to really hear those concerns and take those into consideration as we start to do multiple operations within the state of Kansas. Think about how much expertise we had in one room tonight. I mean, these are some of the national leaders on flying drones and, and the engineering that goes into them. It, it's amazing. I, th I think there's a lot of concerns around uh, privacy and safety when it comes to UAS and we're really here to have an open dialogue with the public and understand all the different things that the IPP team is doing to ensure that uh, we have an extremely safe program first and foremost and second of all to make sure that all the citizenry is really comfortable with the level of privacy that we're ensuring when we collect these data sets. We were able to develop a uh, use of a UAS technology with infrared imaging to scan the entire top of that deck and figure out which parts of it were um, starting to deteriorate and that um, saved money um, for KDOT and uh, for the citizens of Kansas by allowing us to do that without shutting down lanes of traffic or creating those costly expenses. My kids love all this high technology. Is that going to be a real problem? And we yes, say, as a matter of fact, yes ma'am it is. Looking at the U.S. capabilities potential out there, it really is the new frontier. And when we look at the uses, the opportunities, whether they're for economic growth, economic development, whether it's for uses in the farm, uses in the oil field, uh, uses on the highway, uh, uses in the military, uses in law enforcement, there's so many opportunities to help make us safer, help make our lifestyle uh, enriched. And the reason for this is so that we can understand what happens, how it happens, why it happens, and make sure that whatever policies we come up with are, are policies that not only keep everybody safe primarily, but secondarily is to have it as efficient as possible and make it as welcome as possible. Once we introduce them to a disciplined, regimented, deliberate training program, all of a sudden it becomes a much safer, much more uh, consistent product that people can trust.